Hi everyone, this is Mr. West, and this is the Square and Cube Challenge on Khan Academy. It's really not that bad. This one says challenge, but uh, I don't think I would qualify it as a challenge. However, if you're struggling with this, this is a video for you to help you out. A square with side length C has an area of 81 square centimeters. The following equation shows the area of the square. What is the side length of the square in centimeters? So quick drawing here. Here's our square. Uh, the the area for a square is side times side. That would be the area. So that's side squared, and that side is represented by C. So if we know the area is 81, essentially what we just need to do is take the square root of 81, and that will tell us what our missing side length is going to be. I missed. There. That's a little bit better. Okay. So then we just take the square root of 81 and square root of 81. What number times itself twice? There's an implied 2 there for square roots. It's 9. Okay. And it's not negative 9 because you can't have a negative side length for it. Next up, find the solution uh, of the following equation. Okay, so we have y cubed equals negative 343. And okay, what we do here is we need to get the y by itself. So the y by itself, we have to do the opposite of raising it to the third power, and that is taking the cubed root of it. Now, if you're familiar, this if this goes over your head, no problem, but if you're familiar with um, rational exponents, you can also raise this to the one-third power as long as you do it to both sides and raise this to the one-third power. But taking the cube root is the exact same thing. That's an easier way for most people to understand it is you just take the cube root to undo the cube. Uh, now, what happens? Well, we have a y here because this cancels out the cube root left with just y, and we just take the cube root of negative 343. We just need to think to ourselves, okay, what times itself three times equals negative 343, and it's negative 7. Um, oh, yeah, and it's just negative 7. It's not a positive 7. And the reason why that is is um, if you have a, uh, a, uh, a cube root, okay, that's 3, you can have negative numbers on the inside. I know what you're thinking. Hey, when we have square roots, we can't have a negative number inside. That's because no number times itself twice is going to give you a negative number. So if you look at something times itself twice, it's only going to be a positive. Whereas with the negative, you can multiply it three times, an odd number of times, and you can get a negative at the end. A negative just one time is a negative. So that's why if it's an odd number or three, you can have a negative uh, number for an answer question another one uh, you'll see that we have a odd number here with a negative inside so we're gonna have a negative for an answer because negative times negative times negative three times is gonna be a negative okay so negative 216 what times itself three times you could just punch this in on a calculator that's the easy way but you're gonna get negative six check it okay. uh, a cube with side length W has a volume of 512 Okay, so now we need to think here, what times itself three times equals 512? We saw that six was 216, then we had 343, now we have 512. So I'm that was six cubed, that was seven cubed, and I'm guessing this is gonna be eight cubed, but we'll need to check here, it is. So this is just eight, and oh, I forgot to show this, we're gonna take the cube root of both sides, um, and we're gonna call it good. disappointed with these uh, problems replay the same one which is uh, right here because I want you guys to see the fraction one so if you have evaluate where s equals negative 3 so we just need to do negative 75 times negative 3 I want I wanted some new problems so we get we get when we multiply negative 75 times negative 3 we get positive 225 and I believe that is 15 so 15 squared is 225 and it is okay so that's what we're doing here with this one this is just a bonus okay now this is the one i really wanted you guys to see so i'm glad i did this we have a square root here and then we have a square here so what does that mean well a square root undoes the square okay another way we could write this is we could write it like this it doesn't matter because it undoes 
the square root, okay? And what are we gonna le be left with? Nine over eight. Now, if you wanted to, you could do, okay, 81 over 64, and then we take the square root of that. Well, guess what? You take the square root of the top, square root of the bottom, and you get the same thing, nine over eight, okay? So I like this problem especially because this is a big principle you're gonna use in the upper levels of math in high school is undoing the square root. You square, undoing the square, you square root it. Okay, this one we just take the square root and we already had this one. 225 square root is 15. Like I said, not, not much of a challenge. And then we already had this one. This was seven. Square, uh, two root of 343 is seven. So we got some new problems in there. You got two for one. Hope you like this deal. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, let me know. If you need anything else covered, leave a comment. I'd be uh, really happy to help you out with that. And I look forward to seeing you next time right here on West Explains Best.